Ouch! What was that? A zebra? No, silly. That was a zebra mussel. A zebra mussel? What's that? Well, you see, zebra mussels are an invasive species. What's an invasive species? So many questions. Invasive species are a non-native species that moves into an ecosystem and causes environmental or economic harm. Non-native? So where did it come from? Well, you see, zebra mussels are native to the Caspian and the Black Sea, bodies of water in the far, far lands of Europe and Asia. Asia? Then how did they get here all the way to Canada? You're lying to me. They don't have wings, do they? <sighs> oh no, what a scary thought. The truth is, zebra mussels emigrated from Asia in ship ballasts, and they traveled all the way across the Atlantic Ocean to meet us here in Canada. Wow, that's impressive. But we're in Canada, other than stuck to the bottom of my foot, of course. Well, since the 80s, Zebra mussels have spread tremendously. They now infest much of the Great Lakes Basin, the St. Lawrence Seaway, and much of the Mississippi River. And they're still spreading. Holy zebra mussels, that's crazy. But I mean, they seem pretty harmless, other than the whole foot stabbing part. Well, that's not true. You see, since their introduction, they've had terrible, long-lasting effects on a once healthy lake ecosystem. They reduce the phytoplankton, accumulate contaminants, eat native mussels, and on top of that, they clog up our pipes and boats and cost businesses and communities over five billion dollars. Five billion dollars? That's like a kajillion. Yes, these mussels are no joke. One could say, they're rather selfish. Please stop. Well, how can we get rid of them? Well, you see, it's not that simple. The reason that they thrive so well here in North America in the first place is because hardly any of their natural predators are here. So they have a virtually free reign over the land the Great Lakes and St. Lawrence lowlands to be specific. So, it's all hopeless? Is life meaningless? Aren't we all gonna die anyways? Um, I'm not quite sure how to answer the last two, but when it comes to the first one, yes, it is difficult to prevent because zebra mussels have free drifting larvae, which are quite easy to spread and really difficult to prevent. However, it's not impossible. We could stop them by scrubbing our boats and equipment and allowing it to completely dry and just basic stuff like that. Is that it? That doesn't seem so hard. It really isn't. But it's these small changes that when combined have a huge impact. So if you're thinking about not cleaning your boat, just remember, don't move a muscle. Get it, muscle. Get it. Uh, uh. Please stop. Yeah, I'll stop. <laughs>